Well, hello there. I'm Ed Scotus from the SANS Institute and SANS.edu. Santa Claus asked me to welcome you to the North Pole, the 2021 SANS Holiday Hack Challenge, and KringleCon 4. Santa and the elves are super excited about this year's events up here, and I'd like to share a short orientation to this year's challenge with you all. Now, you might think that I don't look much like Ed Scotus, but here at the North Pole, this is how I look. When you create an account in the SANS Holiday Hack Challenge, you'll get an avatar too. I'll show you in a bit how you can customize your look for this year's challenge. But first, let's look at the controls in the upper right-hand side of the screen. We've got a help button that looks kind of like a question mark. Also, you can turn music on or off. And you can show or hide the chat. By the way, to use the in-game chat, just hit the Enter key anywhere on your browser and the chat entry at the bottom of the screen will get the focus. You can then type things and hit Enter and it will display them above your character as well as in the chat scroll on the right. Hit Enter again and then you can type more into the chat. If you'd rather use Discord for chatting instead of the in-game chat, we have a link here so you can go directly to our Discord server and join any one of the channels there that are associated with the Holiday Hack. Now if you look at the gear icon, that's how you can change settings for your account. You can mute audio, you could hide chats, you could hide chat bubbles above players and non-player avatars, you can even hide other players. If you find the world's getting a little too crowded for you, you can make everybody disappear so you can focus on your objective. Now I'm just going to click on Exit to go back to the main screen. If I click on this little head icon, it'll let me alter my avatar. You can change your color scheme, or you can change your head, you can change your eyes, and so forth. Now I kind of like mine the way it is, so I'm just going to click on Close. Now next up we've got the Home button. You can click on that button with a little house in it to go all the way back to the very start of the game. So if you ever get stuck or want to quickly teleport back to the very start of the game, you just click on that little house button. And finally, we have our log off button. I don't want to log off right now, so I'm going to walk around a little bit more and move on to the rest of the game. But next, let's take a look at our badge. When you get to KringleCon, you'll pick up your badge near the entrance. Your badge looks like a little gift at the center of your avatar, kind of like a wrapped present. When you click on it, you'll see sections associated with story, objectives, items, and more. The story unfolds as you move around the world and solve objectives. So you'll see the story building as you get further through the objectives. Now these objectives are the challenges you need to solve. They're a pretty big deal because these objectives are what makes the Holiday Hack Challenge a challenge. The items are things you pick up by walking over them. They include some of the virtual tech gear that you'll need to solve some of the challenges. There's also a link in your badge to the KringleCon talks. You can click on it and then access any of the talks at the conference. Now some of those talks include hints for the various challenges. Or as you wander around the world up here at the North Pole, you can walk into some of the rooms and they will feature some of those talks. But the easiest way to get to all of the KringleCon talks is through your badge. Now again, I'm going to hit exit to move out of my badge. Next, I'd like to wander around the North Pole to see if anyone is up here that I can talk with. Uh, oh, in here I see Santa and the four calling birds. I can talk with Santa by clicking on his avatar and he will tell me some things. Now pay careful attention to what these non-player characters say. Now as you click on them, they will tell you more and more, but once they get to the end of their dialogue, you can just on, keep on clicking and they will cycle and show you that dialogue again. You'll find that there are various elves distributed around the North Pole. These elves are non-player characters that have hints on the objectives for you. You can click on an elf and then that elf will ask you for help in solving a technical challenge. If you help an elf solve a short challenge, that elf will provide hints for a more complex objective. So in a sense, the elves are effectively our hint system at the North Pole. So please feel free to explore Santa's castle, as well as all the other new areas of the North Pole that we have in store for you this year. Have fun working on the challenges, and please join us on Discord to chat about those challenges and enjoy some holiday merriment. So that's what I wanted to share with you all. Have fun with the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge.
Oh, uh, and, and there is one more thing. We've had some reports of Jack Frost sightings at the North Pole again this year. I'm pretty sure he's up to no good, so be on your guard for his shenanigans. But always remember, enjoy yourself, and happy holidays.